Okie dokie then. Unfortunately, I will not be able to sort the lag problem. It's going to be going on for a while, guys, with my face cam, unfortunately. Yo, I'm in and welcome. My name is Yusha Anime, and welcome to a new visual novel that came out recently called Dimension of Monster Girls. Now, I am a big fan of Monster Musume. I'm sorry, but I like Monster Musume. I've actually got some of the physical um, manga volumes. I am a degenerate. I know! So, I'm actually going to give this a go. Apparently, there were only three main characters in this, if I remember. One's um, an... Our frail, I think it's um, Alraune, sorry. It's now Alraune, a Kraken, and a Lamia. So, without any further ado, um, let's just jump into this. And thanks uh, to Rhino Games for making this, I, I guess, is the way to go around it. So, let's see what we have here. We're on a ship. Good start. Dots. How are you doing, Morgan? Same as always, living. <laughs> you need to find yourself a woman. Isn't... Oh, no, wait, Morgan's the main character. It isn't that easy. My job beats me, beats, eats me, eats away my time. So I've only been a f on a few dates lately, and they're all terrible. Working minimum wage at such a boring place does not impress girls. Half of them practically flee as soon as I mention that I'm a cashier for a dying soul who dropped out of college. Damn. Why mention it so soon? I don't want to grow attached to a girl to only have her dump me when I tell her. Fair enough. She needs a man to bring in the bacon, and I'd rather end it as soon as as soon as I can. Something awfully pessimistic there, boy. Can you blame me? My life is going nowhere. There, there are plenty of fish in the sea. You'll meet the right woman for you one day. I doubt it. What about your life? Why are you still sailing this old thing? Don't you have the money to get more modern a more modern ship? I don't need some fancy ship equipped with crazy gadgets. This ship was passed down from generation to generation, and I'll sail it until the day I die. You sure it'll last that long? I'm going to repair it and modify it to meet any new standards. She's got many more years ahead of her. One day I'll pass it down to my son, just as my father passed it down to me. Lucky him, he already knows what he wants to do with his life, and he's only 15. Man, I hope a big break is coming my way. I need one badly. Oh yeah, um, that's actually relevant to what's going to happen for the plot in this, so you'll see soon. Only thing to do is to stay positive and hope. We'll be at your island in two hours. Why don't you take a quick nap? You look like you could use it. I think I will. Why did Mum and Dad decide to live on an island with barely any people? Good question. Growing up there... Growing up there, it was a hassle when I needed to get something from the mainland. Let me try clicking. It's not working the best for pressing enter for some reason. Visitum is such a pain. It takes five hours with this slow boat. There are other boats that go to the island faster, but they're more expensive. I need to save all the money I can. Good to be money-wise. I quickly fall asleep due to how exhausted I am. I'm not so sure how long I slept for, but I'm suddenly jostled awake by the boat's <gasps> rocking. <sighs> What's going on? Oh. Captain? Captain, where are you? The game frozen? No, it hasn't. Morgan! This isn't good. I've never seen a sea so rough in this area. Hold on tight, I'll Hold on tight to something! If you go overboard, there's little chance we'll be able to rescue you. It goes for everybody else, too! I do as he says and grab onto a sturdy part of the ship. What's going on? Why is he so angry? Because plot. We are like Al we're like Adol from uh, East at the second with how many shipwrecks he's been through. Jesus Christ. Ship crashes against the waves, sending tremors throughout the entire body. I hear something break and see water slowly rise from the lower deck. No way. No way. The, Captain, the ship is sinking. Shoot. This can't be happening. Abandoned ship. Well, this got serious all of a sudden. <laughs> Everyone rushes to the lifeboat before the ship fully sinks. The captain and I are the last to arrive. As I try to get on the ship, as I try to get on the ship, shakes violently, and I and I am hurled across into uh, across the air into the water. We're dead. <laughs> we did not live. 
Morgan! I struggle to get to the surface, but it's no use. My energy is waning, and I feel myself sinking deeper and deeper. So this is how it ends. What a pointless existence. I can do anything with my life after all. Fine, it's not like death has much to take from me. Come and get me! I resign myself to my fate when I suddenly see a bright light. Huh? What is that? Oh, why was there a piano noise? Somebody just slammed down on the keys like... Bah, bah. Dots. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Where am I? What happened? Yeah, what did happen indeed? Dots. Didn't I fall into the ocean and drown? Did someone manage to rescue me? This doesn't look like the island my parents live on. Um. Captain, are you around? No, that was awkward. Sorry, to, sorry if you hear that. Dots. Is anybody there? Dots. Nothing. I'm so confused. Where on earth am I? How did I get here in the first place? There aren't any other islands hereby, and there's no way we went back to the mainland. It has a major city at the shore. It would make no sense to be brought deep into the mainland, where the land is still natural. Hold on. Have a listen, have a listen to the sounds. Hold on. I'll let you listen to the sounds. That's a nice sound. I like that sound. That's a nice sound. Huh? Is somebody there? I look around and see the head of a girl peeking out from a bush. It's Alamia. Hello, miss. Can you help me out? I don't know where I am. <laughs> I will certainly help you out. I've waited a long time for this moment. Huh? She walks out of the bush. No, she slivers out. Yes, Alamia. My face pales as I take in her full appearance. Oh my, hello. You are definitely... You're definitely pleasant. How are you? How wonderful. A new human by himself. Oh god, hello. Look at the tongue. Oh my. You are so small and scrawny. Do you not eat properly? She currently stands at about 5 foot 10. Good five inches taller than me. If she were to use her lower heart to raise herself up, she would tower over me. Although she's quite attractive. I'm more concerned about her fangs, claws, and the fact that she could possibly crush me to death. <laughs> At least he's generally considering this. This is impossible. How could a creature like this exist? I thought they were nothing more than fancy creatures. Hey, I asked you a question. I do not like to be ignored, human. Okay. Keyboard's not working. Uh, uh, I do eat when I can. I don't have much money, so sometimes I skip meals. That is too bad. Well, you will not have to worry about that any longer. She smiles as she slivers close to me. Hello. I back away slowly in response, then make a dash for the water. Just before I reach the pool of water, I feel something wrap around my body. Yeah, what it feels like a second, yeah, it's the tail. The snake woman has, completely, has me completely in her grasp. Let go of me! I don't want to die. I was ready to die last night, but I changed my mind. Why Why was I given another chance of life only to have it end prematurely? I struggle from within her coils to break free. I'd give her a good punch in the face if my arms weren't pinned against my body. Equality! It doesn't matter if she's a man or a woman. Punch him in the face if they threaten death to you. <laughs> Stop struggling. You are not escaping me. I'd be full to let a precious human boy go. So she would let the girls go? Okay. Okay. Please don't eat me. I don't taste good. Idiot, I'm not going to eat you. That is disgusting and cannibalistic. In, in case you have not noticed, my species are essentially half human. She's got a point there. I calmed down a little at her words. She didn't look like she was faking her disgust, but maybe she only intends on not eating me. If she just wants to kill me and keep my body so tricky. No. You were shaking. Are you not frightened of me? Have me at your mercy. You can kill me so easily right now. You're yeah, right, I could. My clothes are sharp. I kill my pain by immobilizing them in my coils and then ripping their heart from their chest. Whew. I am not a constrictor, so these beauties are all I have to end the life. I can't help but stare at claws. Like they could tear right through me. I feel myself paling again. 
but I'll not be using them on you, because I'm carrying in fear. She's being awfully kind, though. <laughs> or at least attempting to, given your predict predicament. What do you want from me? Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. All I want right now is... She pauses then smokes mischievously. If she says she wants the edgy right now, I'm closing the game. <laughs> I don't like the way she's looking at me. All you want is? A bite. Okay, close enough, but not exactly. I'll, I'll keep the game open. <laughs> I want to sink my teeth into your neck and my cue is mine. Ah, you do want to eat me, do You do want to eat me. I won't let you. I struggle even harder than before, doing everything that I could possibly do. I even attempt to headbutt her, <laughs> but she moves out of the way. Do not hit me, human! You would feel honored that someone of my stature wants to claim a stupid small child for themselves. I don't want to be eaten! I am not going to eat you! Then why do you want to bite me? I'll die from blood loss if you bite my neck off. <sighs> I never said I'll bite your neck off. Stop assuming things. Did you not hear what I said? I want to mic you as mine, not kill you. So, slave? Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna be a slave. I'm not interested in belonging to you. You have got such a big mouth for such a small human. I'm not small, I'm a little below average. But I'm not small. Compared to me in my entirety, you are tiny. Now I'm getting impatient. Do me a favor and move your neck over to the side to give me an easy access. I'm gonna be penetrated in the neck. No. Please don't penetrate my neck. Forget it. I would allow you to bite me to claim me or whatever. So stabbing. It'll hurt more if you resist. I could just knock you out and then bite you while you're unconscious. But I'm not doing that. I'm trying to be gentle. Gentle? You're having me up to bite me with those gigantic fangs, gentle? You do not understand, this is the way of Monster Girls, human. And we play the Monster Girl game. <laughs> Monster Girls? Is that what she calls herself? Are there any other types of any half human, half snake creatures? No, Lamy are the only half snake, half human creatures that I'm aware of. How is this possible in the first place? I don't know. I will not ask again. Move your neck so that I may bite you. If you refuse again, I will forcibly bite and while I will try to make it not hurt, your struggling will increase your pain. What's it going to be? I don't have much of a choice, do I? I've been trying to escape for several minutes with no luck. This is going on several minutes trying to escape. What the hell is going on? Either way, she's going to sink her teeth into me. Might as well go with the less painful route. I move my neck to the side like she asked me to. Finally, looks like you can listen to reason. <laughs> At long last, a human myself. You may not be what I had in mind, but you will do. I can afford to be picky. CG? Oh, hello. Why are they glowing green? <laughs> Snake girl opens... Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> Might as well be. I give up already. The snake girl opens her mouth wide, revealing her pointy fangs in all their glory. She doesn't immediately try to bite me, she just waits there with her mouth open. Before I could question what she was doing, I noticed that her fangs are getting increasingly green. Is that some kind of poison? I didn't even consider the possibility that she had venom. Gonna die a horrible death. It is ready. Are you prepared, humor? I'm going to bite you now. You'll feel pain for a moment, but as long as you do not move too much, it should be bearable. But, well, we can't struggle. What the heck? Just go on, bite us already. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fruit penetration is something else. Struggling against her polite, uh, pointless. Struggling against her is pointless. There we go. I can read. She's proven herself to be much stronger than I am. At this point, I can only let her do what she wants and hope that the venom isn't too strong. Answer me. Yes. As ready as I'll ever be. Yeah. <laughs> she brings her mouth to my neck and sticks out her tongue. She gives my neck a slow lick with her long tongue. Gotta have some good licking going on. Okay, okay, we're gonna have some lube licks. I'm disgusted to find out that I l kind of like that feeling. <laughs> well, we're not denying it at least. 
get over it already. Stop messing around with me. If you're going to bite me, then, then do it. She bites dying. I feel a sharp pain immediately when the fangs impaled my neck. It isn't as bad as I thought it would be, though. Profit? <laughs> Is this profit? I don't know. I just let me try and have a bit. A little bit of brightness, at least. Because I am a bit in the dark this time. I can feel a liquid entering me through the holes she punctured in my neck. She injects me for no more than 10 seconds, but it feels like so much longer. I'm done? Feels a bit warm, but other than that, I don't notice any other differences. Maybe it's a slow reactive. <laughs> Just. What is going on with this? I am. So... I'm slightly in disbelief at this. Oh, oh, hello, you're close. I have some of your blood in my mouth. How revolting. That's how she reacts, then it looks like she really was telling the truth about being disgusted at the thought of eating me. One moment, human. Let me wash out my mouth. Okay. I wonder if this has a patch. <laughs> <laughs> she slivers to the water's edge, then lowers her claws to the water, scooping up as much as she can. This is my chance. If I'm quiet, at least for a bit, I can slowly tiptoe away, then make a dash to safety. I make my escape, leaving the snake girl by herself. Well, that, that was easy then. Dots. Human, I'm sure you've... Dots. Hmm, human, where are you? Dots. No! He ran away. I should have kept my eyes on him. If he wants into another unattached monster girl, I cannot let that happen. I will find you. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm guessing we're gonna meet the Kraken here then, obviously by the waves. I reckon this is gonna be a very quick play. Somehow, I think this is gonna be a very short game. Oh. Alright, I'll go on a little bit longer. I'll go on a little bit longer, I'll bear it out. Actually managed to escape from that monster girl, but not unscathed. I touched the spot on my neck where I was bitten. On my finger is a reddish green liquid, clearly a mix of my blood and the venom that was injected into my bloodstream. I understand that was so. <sighs> I can't. I... It feels like some reverse rape shit is gonna happen throughout this entire thing. Where even are we? I don't know anything that's going on. I mean, we've just been bitten by the neck. Some green things in our neck. It's definitely not bogeys or freaking venom. But probably some type of, I don't know, tracking thing? I don't know, maybe essence? I have no idea. He should have been smarter than he was. He really should have been. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Alright, back in I go then. She said she didn't want to kill me, so what is the venom for? Can I even trust anything she said? Well, did, shouldn't you have thought about that if she let you start walking? I guess not. Maybe it'll act as paralysis. Well, then you wouldn't have been able to run. Well, she collects humans and keeps them as pets. Well, that is possible, actually. <laughs> I didn't think of that. Stop thinking thoughts like that. I need to think clearly. I won't be able to do what I need to do if I'm terrified over what she'd do to me if she brings me back to her lair. Human boy? Mm -hmm. My heart races at the thought that she found me, but I quickly realise that's not her voice and that the owner of it su is surprised to see me. I turn to see a woman in the water. Due to my last encounter, I am extremely nervous, especially since her skin tone is strange. Uh, hello? Hello, human. You look like you have a lot on your mind. Want to take a relaxing swim with me? The water is warm. It is ridiculously clear that this is a trap. Maybe she's a snake woman who lures in her victims. Why snake woman? No, she's in the water. 
I know, I know some snakes can swim, but come on. Just, I, 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 I don't know how I feel about Morgan in a second. I feel he's a bit of a dunce, but he does have some brains, so I don't know how I feel. He lures in a victims with her body and then drowns them. No, that's a mermaid. I'm good. I don't really feel like swimming, so I'll be on my way. I back away slowly, keeping my eyes on her in case she tries something. After I only take a few steps, she sub she submerges herself in the water and then shoots herself into the air? What the hell? Landing right in front of me? Well then. <laughs> what are you? We gotta be technical right <laughs> I've taken the appearance of this woman. She definitely, she's definitely not human, but she's not the same species as the snake girl. She, her one actually doesn't look that bad, actually. If anything, she looks like she's part squid. I am a monster girl. More specifically, I am a kraken. Kraken? Giant creature that sinks whole ships by itself? <laughs> you humans have such silly tails. I am powerful, but even I cannot drag a ship down to the bottom of the sea. The Kraken stands about a solid 5'8 tall, just a little less than the snake girl in her normal stance. How? Hold on. How, how is a Kraken smaller than a Lamia? I'd understand with the, with the tail height. I would, I'd, I would understand that, but a Kraken? I don't know, the least expected a 6 foot one. Okay. I'll just roll with it. Her ten tentacles are, uh, are large and all move around when she walks. Everything about her puts me on edge. I'm gonna go. I have something. I have to do things. It was nice to meet you, Miss Kraken. I tried to be polite. Maybe she'll let me go if I don't do anything to upset her. Nope, we go gone. You're done. Oh, no, you don't. I will let you such a lovely opportunity pass by. Uh, oh, there we go. We got the tentacles. Okay. Her tentacles quickly grab me all over my body, preventing me from moving. An individual tentacle is used for each of my arms. Oh my god. We are going to be tentacle raped. Another is wrapped around my back, bringing me closer to the Kraken. Like with the snake girl, I struggle to escape as best as I can. Oh dear. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I'm not going to hurt you. Much. All I need is a little nibble on your. What is it with nibbles on the necks? Again! What is it with you monster girls and biting necks? Hmm? Oh, you've already been bitten. From a lamia, it seems. Lamia? A creature with the lower half of a snake. Right, that's the word for them. I'm not too familiar with mythical creatures, but I remember playing video games that had lamias as tough enemies. Oh my, what type of games have you been playing? I need to know this one. Yeah, that was what bit me. It was a recent bite, wasn't it? It only happened about half an hour ago. How do we know? Which is a good thing for me. Your body won't reject additional bites for another half an hour. I will also claim you for my own. You are so adorable. The other humans I've been have all been large bulky men, taller than even myself. Well then, big fisherman taking on a kraken. There's probably R34 of that. <laughs> it's nice to have someone who fits my tastes. She's... Oh no. Oh no. I'm five foot five. Fits my tastes. I'm petite. She's... She likes... She's a show to God. Okay. I think I know what she is. She's bitten other guys before? I probably to ask what's become of them, but I'm too curious not to. Well, what happened to them? Oh, dirt. I lost them to other monster girls. They're not important anymore. Who's important now is you. She gives me a caring smile that catches me off guard and makes me blush. Although she is restraining me, she isn't as aggressive or demanding as the Lamia. Well, we're slowing down at least. Oh, we're becoming used to being strung up, which means we're now becoming a masochist. She's actually quite beautiful if you aren't bothered by her tentacles instead of the legs. Hmm. That is true. Her chest is also massive. I, were too, I was too caught up by b being afraid and struggling against her to notice them properly. How do, how do you not notice that? Okay. It's a nice little pearl necklace though she's got with uh, seashells. Do you like them? What? She caught me staring. 
Oh no, she's going to hurt me for that. I'm not angry. Don't be frightened, dear. She places her right hand against my cheek and softly rubs it. Her hand feels so smooth. Why is she being so affectionate with me? Is she trying to lull me into a false sense of security? No, definitely not. Now that I think about this... The Lamia is a cinder, isn't she? She's a cinder. And this one is the overbearing motherly type. By the scenes of it. I can't say for sure, but that's what I think. You can look at my breasts all you want, but don't touch them. That's a privilege reserved for only my husband. Husband? You married? No, I'm talking about my future husband. I want only his hands to touch me intimately. That's actually kind of sweet. She has me very confused. I have the most awkward boner. <laughs> That's this moment summed up. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but monster girl. She still wants to bite me though, which I can't allow. I don't need more of this mysterious venom flowing through my body. Oh my god, flowing though my... Grandma! Grandma! God damn it. Look, you seem like a nice woman, but I'm not interested in having you claim me. Please let me go and I'll be on my way home. Home? This is your home now. There's no going back to where you were before. It'd be ridiculous. I'll find out where I am. And find out how to get back. My parents are expecting me, so I have to go tell them I'm alright. They probably think I drowned at sea. You poor thing. Is that how you got here? You see, it can be cruel to surface dwellers. It even It's even hard on creatures like me sometimes. Wait a minute. Is this underwater? Is this underwater? Surface dwellers. We're definitely underwater then. What? There, there. Everything will be alright. She places her hands on my back and then gently comforts me. At this point, I don't believe that she has any ill intent for me, but I still don't want to be owned by someone. I'm not some kind of pet. We're going to become a mascus real soon. <laughs> <laughs> I start struggling again with all my might. You're still trying to escape? Sweetie, you're hurting my feelings. Haven't I been more than kind to you? Uh-oh. If you're already so kind, then release me. Oh. Uh-oh. Does. Forgive me, but I cannot do yet do that. Until I not until I bite you first. I wish that I was the only one to bite you, but luck never seems to be in my favour. Please move your neck to the side. Oh, here we go again. Injected with the poison. No, I've already been bitten once by that Lamia. I don't want to be bitten again. Please. I don't want to... Please, I don't want to bite you when you are unwilling, but but I will if I have to. Why? <laughs> These are thirsty ass monster girls. Holy God. Answer me this. Is whatever it is you monster girls are injecting into me dangerous? Am I going to die? No, you wouldn't die unless a very large amount is injected into you. You'll be fine from another bite. Get it over with already. Thank you. Turn your head, dear. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Just, just bite me already. I turn my head, exposing the other side of my neck. The side that wasn't bitten by the Lamia. Oh my, hello. Well, this is... I, I, I like this. I like I, I, li I like this CG. I like it. It's a good one. It's definitely good. The Kraken does the same thing that the Lamia did and opens her mouth wide. I like the Lamia, however, the Kraken does not naturally have fangs. She could use to bite someone's neck. After a few minutes, I'm surprised to see fangs grow. They have the same colour as the fangs of the Lamia when she was biting me. Why do they have the same teeth? Why? I can't believe I'm being bitten again. No matter where I go, my life sucks. The fluid is ready. The fluid is ready to be injected into your body. You should already know what it's going to feel like since you've already been bitten. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> Just don't think so. <laughs> then I'll begin marking you. I brace myself for what I know is coming. A few seconds later, I feel the fangs she just grew penetrate my skin. So much throat penetration in this episode. This is a new fetish, I swear. It probably is actually a fetish. Huh? Is it? It probably is. The pain is equal to the bite I received earlier. The venom or whatever it is it's being forced into my bloodstream. We're going to have some bulging freaking blood vessels. 
Throughout the bite. And she holds onto my hand, which I can only assume is meant to comfort me. This should do it. That should do it. How do you feel? Thanks, Lady Disappear, and lose the glowing green colour they have. How is this possible? Hello. Hello. Right. Yeah, I'm right. What kind of biology do these monster girls have? Why am I even playing this game? Sweetie. I feel alright. My neck is a little hot though. It was warm after my first bite, but now this is evil. Now it's even warmer. That's normal. Don't worry, it'll go away soon. Now that she's finished biting me, she decides to release her hold on me. I notice my body is covered with a sticky, slimy substance. We got slime. That happened. Phew, what is this? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. My appendages are slimy. Why don't you wash yourself off? I think I will. Well, we're staying for this one. I wonder where the lamb is. Oh my, you were close. Hello. Okay. Okay. I think I need to stop. For today, I'm stopping. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but I need to. My brain can't take much more. Uh, since the camera's lag, lagging, I'm going to put it on that. There we go. So I'm going to end this part. I'm going to end this part here. I don't know how to feel about this. This feels so odd. Why do they all have the same fangs? Although, the Lamia I'm not criticising too harshly, but the Lamia style was sort of... I don't know. I don't, I don't feel the Lamia was completely... Sp Spot on myself. That's how I feel, though. Don't attack me. Personal opinion is a thing. And although I do like the Kraken, the Kraken is definitely nice. But I definitely think at the second that the Lamia most likely is a Sundere. Can't guarantee it yet, but I think it's possible. But for now, that does conclude this part of Dimension of Monster Girl. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So much, guys. I will indeed see you next time. I never thought in my life I would say throat penetration. Jesus Christ.